I'm Paul Huizinga. This is the 2015 PRI Show. I'm getting a chance to visit with my friend Chris here again, PFC Brakes. And you guys make such a wide variety of different brake sets. What are we looking at right here? This is actually our ZR34 Super Late Model package. Um, applications are anywhere from Super Late Model to Pro Late Model with a crate engine, to our Tour Modifieds of the Northeast, to our uh, NASCAR wheeling modifieds. So it has a lot of different applications and it's won a lot of races over the past few years and I'm sure it's going to win a lot more next year. That's a pretty sophisticated setup so let's go through this. Let's start with the caliper. What are What's going on with the caliper here? Well the caliper is actually our, our one-piece monoblock design. Uh, it allows for a lot stiffer pedal feel, a lot less drag and uh, actually allows for a lot cooler temperatures during those summer months when these guys are trying to keep their brakes under them for 150 laps. So now you mentioned drag. That's pretty important. You don't want to give away any of that horsepower that you spent all that money to build, right? Drag is, is a really, really large focus of ours, especially in the short track market. These guys spend a lot of money on this horsepower they get. And so the last thing we want to do is, is slow them down when they're not on the brake pedal. And so uh, this reduced drag obviously you know, lasts, makes their discs last longer, pads last longer, and uh, keeps the tire pressures down on the front tires. Now how is the weight on this compared to a competing design? It's actually a uh, half a pound to a pound lighter than most of our competitors' calipers. Um, so reduced weight, reduced unsprung weight, allows you to move that lead wherever you want to on the car. All right, now let's talk about the rotor assembly. It's got some cool things going on there as well, too. Yes, the rotor is actually our V3 technology. Uh, allows for, you know, rather than the, the bobbins and, and bolts and torque wrenches and, and safety wire and all those things we're, also, we're so used to over the years, uh, this goes to a one-piece snap ring uh, that can be removed with a screwdriver and applied without any, any tools whatsoever. Well, it makes it makes maintenance a lot more uh, a lot more simplified, a lot quicker and easier. Absolutely, simplifies the maintenance, uh, reduces the cost whenever you change them. The only time you'd have to change the ring is if you were to bend it, um, or of course, you know, the last thing you want to do is crash the car. But but you don't have to worry about the wear, and uh, all you have to do is worry about replacing if it's bent. All right, drop some names on us. Who are some of the guys who are running this that we might be familiar with? A handful of guys in our super late model market would be Bubba Pollard. Um, a, lot of, a lot of people are familiar with Bubba. Uh, there's Casey Roderick, who's the 2015 Blizzard Series champion. Um, we've got DJ Vanderlei and a handful of others, as well as our tour modified guys, Justin Bonsignor, and uh, a, lot, a lot of other names there that have won races this year and, and the years past. Well, it's hard to beat credentials like that. Now, I'm convinced. How do we find out more information about this and all the PFC Brakes uh, components? You can visit pfcbrakes.com, go to the Motorsports tab, look for our build sheets on super late models, tour modifieds, or any other questions you may have on any of these short track uh, applications. And you can also go to our Twitter, which is at PFC underscore brake. And we also have a Facebook page, so look us up. Well, there's a lot of great information available online. Check that out. Keep it right here for a whole bunch more 2015 PRI coverage. I'm Paul Husinga for Power Auto Media. See you next time.